Guys, gals, and minions, it is me and our proxy, and as you can see here, we are playing Puppeteer, and it's pretty freaking awesome. I've been loving this game so far. But minions, what do you think of it? Have you played it? It's obviously come out now. In the comment section below, I'd love to know your opinions. What's been your favorite head? Is there any heads that you found that I haven't found? I would love to know all of this stuff, all your brain meat information. But as you can see here, we must now move on to Act 6. Times are ticking, there's two more acts left to do, and then the game's completed, and then we can do the review, then we, or we can move on to another game, or we can even go and try and find all the heads and do stuff like that or find all the bonus stages. So much potential stuff to this game has so much content but as you can see here too we have a picture book so let's see who we've got next to learn about about their backstory and their life. Who could it be? Hmm maybe Kutaro the scissors or the moon bag? <gasps> oh it's Nebula! How's Nebula's Hank Sam? How Nebula's heart sank. Poor, poor Nebula, all alone. Poor little Nebula, without a friend of her own. Why is it no one sees things my way? Am I the last idea in a desert of cliché? Outside my house I get stared at and mocked. In the streets I hear snickles and whiskafaws as I walk. I suppose I'm above them. It's they who are odder. Even Daddy and me are like oil and water. But if Mommy was still here, she'd tell me the truth about my real father, who was far less uncouth. And the galaxy from which I came. Look at these weirdos on Halloween night. This gaggle of ghosts, this wobble of whites. They claim to be townsfolk, all dressed up as spooks, as if I'd be fooled by these monstrous kooks. They're not even living. They're worse than undead. They just wear the costumes to play with your head. They aren't human like me. But oh, what's the point? What does it matter? The whole world's convinced I'm as mad as a hatter. In which case, it's time I made them all see. Armed with the truth, I'll set myself free. Oh look, here's my daddy, their leader disguised. A ruse soon diffused in the blink of an eye. He won't call me Susan again. But what if the commotion drew some attention? Would the constable come? Would they try intervention? I checked if my neighbors had heard the hubbub. And there was old Frank sinking back in the tub. Oops, a little mishap with the nearest appliance thwarted this neighbor's impending defiance. He wasn't human anyway. Well, that was the end of the tricking and treating, for soon not a single heart was left beating. All that I wanted was to see eye to eye. Why is it no one will be on my side? Wait, what is this? Are these demons awake? Quick, where's a torch? Find some acid, a stake! They simply won't die. No, they won't leave me be. There's no bringing monsters to justice, it seems. Unless, yes, there is an escape. A good way to leave all my captors agape. I know what sets me apart. Gosh, can you believe her? Do you suppose it's a face? She thinks she's a human. Well, we all had those days. Oh, the misery! My heart! It just sank, and my neck grew to ten times its regular length. Will nobody save me from this Philistine throng? Oh, please, someone, take me back where I belong. To the galaxy from which I came. Interesting, Minions. It seems that Nebula wasn't a very nice person. Hmm, so she was the reason why her dad's head fell off. 
<laughs> How unusual! But anyway, we must continue on with the story now, but means comment section below, what did you think to the backstory of Nebula, which has been your favourite picture book so far? I would love to know. But anyway, select Act, Act 6, here we go, Curtain 1. Kutaro had dismantled Robodog and reclaimed his cache of moonstones. But the Moonbear King would not stand idly by. As our tale rockets towards a climax, the tyrant is already hatching a plan. A plan called Act Six. Oh my goodness, Minis, this sounds epic! And look, there's a laser beam going into the sky with cards on it! So that might be quite awesome. We might be able to go to space like I wanted. Let's find out now. And so the story continues. What's gonna happen? <laughs> I'm loving this game, it's so cool. Thanks to Kuduro, the shattered white moonstone was coming together piece by piece. Meanwhile, the witch, Esma Potts, who apparently had no qualms about holing up in another person's house, stood before Castle Waxwain's towering portrait of the moon goddess and said, Just you wait! Soon I will be the goddess! And the smile playing on her hideous lips gave way to a chilling laugh. Monkey! Monkey! Where are you? Revisibilate yourself! You are my lord at once! <laughs> How could you fail me? You of all my generals! Your mistakes have cost me the other hand! If he gets the rest of the White Moonstone, and he has Calibras! No, oh, wait! I know who it is! Bully Gudaro's tree! What? Who? Tell me! I can't breathe! I'm the Moon Witch! Where's my pots? Pots? That hag from the kitchen? She is at the White Castle, guiding Kudaro from there! That's what she thinks! I'll destroy them both! A bit and a bit here. But how, sire? Simple. The clock tower in the land of time. Pick up, you useless pups! What are you waiting for? Yes, sir! <laughs> Nothing like a spot of Copernican Artemisia to pass the afternoon. Yes, I can't tell whether it's the smooth herbaceous flavor or the distinctive biscuity nose, but something about it does tickle my fancy. Who calls during tea time? No manners at all. Oh, uh, please, excuse me. A rabbit and rooster's never-ending tea party? Say again? Moon barking? <gasps> Sire, Lord Master, yes, hello. I have a cue and the chicken taken over the land of time. That clock should have been fixed ages ago. <laughs> My world, Tempest Fugit. <laughs> Has it been three years? Time is running out and you were supposed to catch it. <laughs> Never you fear your ISness, it is under control. That's right. We'll have that chronopoly for you in a macro jiffy. Move it! I want that clock to go oh. me right now! Oh la 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 la! <laughs> oh my goodness, me! It's a gigantic rabbit and a pheasant. Or the peacock. I'm not entirely sure. It's awesome anyway. Oh, late, late, I am late! He looks shady. Let's tail him. Yes, with my gingerbread house for a face! Okay, let's continue onwards. I also have my Grim Reaper head too, which is still my favorite. Look at that. It's so cool! Schwing! <laughs> oh, wait a minute, it fell off then. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, Everyone geez. and everything in the land of time was zipping along at a blistering pace. It was almost as if someone had put ants in the pants of time. Oh, and then all of a sudden, the ants were all dropped out. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How pretty awesome you minions are. Even the buildings lining the street were recombobulating at breakneck speed, their heights changing like rippling waves. The sole exception was tea time. 
Oh, no, no, no. I must have down cheating her. Oh, Hold it, Buster. <laughs> you work for the Moon Bear King. Okay, we need to be very careful here, it seems. So, let's watch how these things are timed. Very quickly, it seems. You ready, minions? Jump. And now the next one, quick. Yeah. You got oh, to do it no, just no. as it does it as well. Ah, oh, good damn it! That's pretty tricky. You work for the Moon Bear King. We can do this, minions. Just got to focus. Oh no no no! I must have now dealing her. Late late late. Hold it, Buster. You work for the Moon Bear King. You already said that. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go, minions. Got to jump this gap now, like freaking Batman. Are we ready for this? I don't think we are. Oh boy, run, jump. God, that was close. Okay, here we go. Slam dunk. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Cards, stay where you are. Yes. Stop distracting me or he'll have my head. Well, that proves it. Come on. He's got a piece of the moonstone. Must get the moonstone, minions. Does that mean how many freaking moonstones are there then? Jesus, quite a lot of them. How overpowerful are we going to get by the end of this game? I have no freaking clue. Let's keep going, oh, anyway. Moon Sparkle, 63 lives for me. Balsam. I wonder if I'll ever get to 100, do you think? The Turkey Pick Arena. Oh, a clock head! Oh, that's quite cool. Awesome, I wonder if we get to use it. So which one should I equip now, then? We haven't actually been able to use any of these ones yet in the game, so... I don't know. Mm, I'm going to have to use the Grim Reaper one and risk it, I guess. Here we go. Rabbit, I'm coming for your ass! Yeah, here we go, just keep sniffing. Wait, minions, look! Must use the clock head here. Or at least we don't have to use it in the future, I guess. I want to suck your blood! If we're gonna say something else then. Ew. Yes. Hi there! This is exactly the reaction I desperately wanted! <laughs> Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> Let's keep going, minions. At least you don't have to worry about the, the uh, clock head anymore. Where am I going? There we go. Block! That was close. Okay, snip minions like a lawnmower of justice. <laughs> there we go. Juggalo effect. Right. Got some souls. Wait a minute. I wasn't ready yet. Ugh, game rushing me. How dare you. Wait, what minions? I must conquer the land of time. Post haste. Wait, wait, wait. What could they- Oh, it's a star head again! Okay, cool. We don't really need two star heads, though, do we? Not entirely sure. What's behind this door? Wait a minute! What was that? Something happened behind there, minions. Maybe a murder! Look! Hey there, buddy. What's he doing? Oh, Moon Sparkles! Thank you! Okay, must be like a burglar or something. I'm not entirely sure. Which one should I use in the clock head, I think? Because we've used it now, so I don't think we need to use it again. I think each, like, um, head has its own one action, like, a moment. So let's see what we've got to do next. Oh, no! Oh jeez! Oh, don't scare me! I'm sorry. I see a room over on the right. Let's mug this place. <laughs> see, oh look, people are hitting moon sparkles in here, minions. Yummy moon sparkles, nearly 64 lives. Right, where do we go next? I think I'll go up here. Bounce on the bed. Whoop! Hopefully nobody thinks anything else is happening. Okay, let's try that again. But this time, jump over. Oh, I see. Okay, jump. Attack! I right, don't run away. Oh, jeez. Ow! Oh, I've been pancaked. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So icy, got to run as fast as possible. The land of time, post Even though I missed the jump there as well, which is not good. Oh, I see. Look, minions, there's cards. Oh, we're supposed to jump on the cards. Right. So you gotta go. Is that right? Or not? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you just gotta let them fall. Okay, I guess. Woo, safe. Even the chimney sweeping seem to be chronologically impaired. How interesting! It's w okay. That, that little bit moment like took me by surprise. I guess I've always wanted to just jump as fast as possible. You believe me, minions, right? Here we go. We've got the smoke. Grab it to the land of time. What should have been running like clockwork has been reduced to running in circles. Keep going, minions. Nearly got that pesky oh, run! I must fix the clock! Oh boy, Jump. here we go. I'm trying to, but she's a rush me, woman! Again! Yeah. Uh oh! 
We're out of buildings! You got cars, though. Who needs rooftops when you have playing cars? There we go, means we can do so. Oh, the clock heads back again. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, let's continue on once I watch out for the fire of doom. Don't think so, game. Ready minions, jump and then run. Well, snip. <laughs> Can't really run and snip at the same time. Okay, here we go, ready. Come on, smoke quick before the fire comes back. Here it comes. Yeah. I always want to enjoy a fragrant tea amidst all this soot. First world problems, bunny man. Oh, the minions, another head. This one is, oh, it's the Grim Reaper. We got all our heads back, minions. How awesome. I was kind of scared that we wouldn't get them anymore. Oh, look, minions, is that burglar again? It seems he's on a wanted poster look. It must be him. Where is he going? Maybe it's a murder in disguise. I have no freaking clue, minions, but we must end this one here. Because then we must go on to the next video and see what happens next. What could happen? I have no freaking clue. Post in the comments below your suggestions. I would love to know. But anyway, remember to join me army if you've not supposed to get giveaways. And definitely check out the Proxbo's Facebook page for more giveaways, competitions, and just awesome, awesome updates. And I will see you guys, girls, minions, next time. Ciao.